Uh, a lot of hammer throwing has much to do with the of, of identifying the most the more ideal technique for an athlete. So with Amy and with Eugene, they both swing with a ball to the right. There's some athletes who will swing with a ball and the low point will be directly in front of them. There's some athletes who will swing and the low point will be directly in left to the left. It is it's hard to say which what technique is more effective over the other, but what is more important is that the technique will work for that athlete. So there's no right way or wrong way, really. What you're really measuring is how effective is that technique that you're using in, and in terms of the results that they're getting. So I've worked with athletes who have the, who, who absolutely positively the low point's got to be to the right. I've worked with other athletes who the low point's to the left. And I've had athletes who the low point's in front of them. And it's all been very effective. So when you're trying to determine the most ideal technique, what you're trying to do is trying to take the most basic elements of what works and putting those techniques into the throw because the theory behind it is if you follow the basic techniques, you should be able to get some very good basic results.